Good morning. Today is July 23rd and my family and I are here at Zoo Atlanta. Um, they have a Lego exhibit that we are checking out today. Um, we are members here at the zoo um, and enjoy coming here quite often. So we'll see some animals, we'll see the exhibit um, and just enjoy our day. Thanks for joining us. just made it over to the savanna and are greeted by one of our elephants. I have a feeling this is the male elephant, but it's hard to tell when they're not next to each other. A little morning snack. Can you see him, buddy? So we found a roly-poly outside and Dean is way more interested in playing with a roly-poly than anything else so far. Dean, can you tell us what a roly-poly is? It is an isopod. It is an isopod. Is it your favorite bug? Yeah. Yes. Look, oh, they're all coming in. Oh, my This is an elephant sculpture right outside the elephant um, like building where they go at night. And Dean's very favorite part is right here at the back. As every little boy's favorite part should be. What's your favorite part over here, buddy? That part open. What is it? What is it? Boop! <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it opens, buddy. You can try. Uh -oh. oh, maybe it does. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me see if hey, be careful that you don't close it back down on your fingers, okay? Okay. Well, that was cool that that's open. That yeah. Open. And they have all of these little things that you can open. I can't really lift it. My, I had surgery and my hand's not strong enough to lift it right now. But there's facts underneath. You're going to help me with that, buddy? So underneath, you can see like a picture and it tells you all about elephant poop. We that my it says elephants can produce several hundred pounds of poop a day. coming up here on the area that has the giraffes and the zebras and the ostriches and they are doing some giraffe feeding right now so you can pay four dollars to get two lettuce leaves and feed the giraffe let's see what else is in here that giraffe is chomping at the bit for some of that lettuce. <laughs> I wish I liked lettuce as much as that giraffe did. There are my 
guys feeding the giraffe. He's like, give me the lettuce. Buddy. Here's some more of the savanna. We have some zebras over there. There's another giraffe. Let's see if we can get the ostrich heads way back there, but they're not out right now. No! That is a really cool thing that tortoises try to do. Predators don't want to mess with that, right? Woo. Any of you guys want to mess with that? Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> that is pretty unusual. Uh huh. Officer Christian, if you're pretty smart and resourceful, I, I can get you someone know. like you. To go get you some ice cream? Yes. And after the ice cream is eaten, how would you like a promotion? A promotion? Oh my God! Be so proud. It's a new thing when you hire another detective and you stay in there with it. If you would like to be become like Detective Christina, stop in front of the zoo at the exploration station and pick up your detective toolkit. Excellent! Yeah, and that happens on the weekends, you guys can find that. And you guys make sure you keep your eyes open for those unusual animals. Huh? Thank you, Detective and Thank Christina. you guys for your help. Thank you, Jenny Detective. Keep investigating. Thank you all. Thank you. We're about to walk by part of the um, gorilla exhibit. The gorilla exhibit is actually pretty big, so we're going to do part of it now and part of it later. Um, but this is a statue of, I lost it, there he is, of Willie B. He is a very, very famous gorilla here in the Atlanta area. Um, definitely one that I remember from my childhood. And based on this large crowd over here, I'm guessing that the gorillas are out here. Oh, I see some heads. I'm not sure we'll be able to see them very well from here. Yeah, but I don't know if you could get around them. I'm saying if you ran and jumped, I think it's That's what I'm thinking. Well, there's another place on the other side. This is one of the bachelor groups, and uh, Willie B. Jr. is one of the gorillas in this section. I do not know which one he is. Um, but you can see um, one of the guys up there on top of the rock is either eating or playing with a stick or something. There's one of the one of the bachelor groups. section of things that are native to Georgia. Georgia extremes. tortoises that are outside the reptile exhibit. They're having a moment here. They were moving a second, moving their heads a second ago.
Now we have made our way into the scaly, slimy, spectacular. What the doors are doing behind me. See if the giant tortoises cooperate this time. They were just moving us. Oh, there they go. The big guy was moving. He like makes a little lurch forward and then stops. Takes a takes a rest. They found their nice spot in the shade. These guys are only in this exhibit when the weather is warm. When, during the winter months when it's cooler, they move them to another location where they're kind of in a greenhouse. Um, because of course they like the warm weather and not the cold weather. Here's baby Floyd, up on a rock. Probably pestering somebody as little ones do. Even if you're a gorilla. Yeah, Is it really a dragonfly this time? Yeah. It does appear to be a dragonfly. Even on the picture? Mm. Is that a damselfly on the picture? <laughs> So this, uh, we saw the same similar exhibit at the Botanical Gardens in Gainesville, um, and they had a dragonfly. Um, but the picture on the dragonfly sign is actually a damselfly. The bottom I, wings are dragonfly. The bottom rings are correct. The insect at the top is not. Uh, still, still a cool Lego sculpture. Maybe need to do a little more research on what we're actually displaying on our pictures. Of course, I don't know. I, I still don't think I know the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly. And then over here, a snow leopard. Which I believe that the leopard that they have here at the zoo that we'll see in a little while is a snow leopard.
we're at the Sun Bear exhibit. Oop, I zoomed in too far. There's one of them taking a nap up there. And one taking a nap down there. They're called Sun Bear because of the orange crest that's on their chest. It looks like a sun. Let's see if we can get an orangutan on the move. There's usually a lot of them out playing and maybe because it's so warm, sun shining, it's getting to be after lunchtime, seeking some shade. There's another one under that structure. There's one kind of off of the distance, swinging along a rope. And there's one swinging around over there. Yeah, I saw the one up on the hill too. This is Jackie the Red Panda. He is relatively new to the zoo. And he is like one of our favorite small animals here. His predecessor, uh, Iggy, I think was her name, is kind of who made us fall in love with red pandas. She sadly is no longer with us. And usually they're asleep when we come through, so to see one moving even a little bit is a real treat. But only if there's our fun the Komodo dragon. Over here, he was just moving around. He stopped at least for a moment. So we are heading back to our car after a lovely morning at the zoo. Um, as you, if you're familiar with the zoo at all, you might be able to tell that we did not see everything. Um, we did have plans to do everything at the zoo today, um, but with my recovery from my surgery um, and uh, maybe others in our family who had, didn't get a good night's sleep, um, we decided to call it quits a little early. Um, so we probably won't see the rest of the Lego exhibit, um, but that's okay. What we saw was really neat. Um, we also saw the exhibit at the Gainesville Bot Botanical Gardens. That was very similar, um, but it, it was an enjoyable day. I hope you enjoyed um, watching the video. Um, we enjoyed, um, like I said, our morning here and seeing the Lego exhibit, which only goes on for another week or so. And um, of course, seeing all the animals that we love. Um, so thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.